Yves Rossi comes from Neuchâtel in western Switzerland. For the past 10 years, he has worked as a commercial pilot for the airline company Swiss. Prior to that, he worked for 15 years as a fighter pilot, flying Mirage jets for the Swiss Air Force. Yves is happiest when he's up in the air. Some of his favourite hobbies include parachuting, hang gliding and sky surfing. For years, he has dreamed of flying like a bird. Then eight years ago, his dream became a reality. Meet Fusion Man. Ross's change from Human to Jetman involves putting on a Formula One fireproof suit, three parachutes and a helmet that beeps a warning when he goes too low. His homemade three metre wide carbon wing strapped to his back and powered by four mini jets complete the transformation. You also have to be very precise when leaving the plane. That's not really the fun moment, but once I'm out and I start flying, it's pure pleasure and like a dream. I'm almost naked under my little wing with my flying suit. There is a feeling of being carried by this wing, but also of being completely free thanks to my body movements. I go in whatever direction I look. I arch my back and I go up. I lean forward and I go down. I turn my shoulders slightly and it turns. You simply look in the direction you want to go and it starts to turn, just with the head. It's completely intuitive, amazing. The wing, which was conceived, built and fine-tuned by Rossi with help from his friends, has evolved considerably over the years from the early inflatable version. Fusion Man has made around 200 flights, of which 50 have been motorised. But it hasn't always been an easy ride. He admits to around 20 near-death experiences during testing. In 2004, he flew into the record books, when he became the first man to fly with a jet-powered wing. In September 2008, the Swiss Birdman hit the international headlines when he became the first person to fly solo across the English Channel using a single jet-propelled wing, retracing the route of French aviator Louis Blériot 99 years earlier. Rocketing at an average speed of 200 km an hour, Fusion Man took less than 10 minutes to complete the historic 35 km crossing with his homemade device and then to parachute to the ground to a rapturous welcome. Since Dover, Fusion Man has been working on another project, a smaller, simpler wing with a lot more power that will allow him to fly vertically and do aerobatics. His goal is to show off his new wing at the Grand Canyon at the end of September. At the Grand Canyon, there are vertical cliffs over 1,000 meters high, so I can present what I do without taking risks. I will be 200 meters from spectators, with 800 meters below me. I'd like to fly elsewhere in the US, such as San Francisco. But I'd like to start with the Grand Canyon. My motivation is to go where an idea takes me. I have an idea in my head and I wonder if it's possible to realise. I love the idea of doing something extraordinary, of going as far as possible and excelling, testing personal and technical limits. I like to make people dream. It's very gratifying. Rocket Man!